Mike, I got some good stuff right here, brother. It's not the Ethiopian joint, but we'll get that out later. What's going on, everybody? It's Troy Rawlings here. Happy day. Oh, happy day. <laughs> Little taboo talk for y'all. I'm going to get right into this because I don't have much time. And I want to make sure I put this on IGTV as well as the relationship comedy YouTube. Um, I want to deal with the trans elephant in the room. I call this the transgender dilemma. Not the transgender dilemma. 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 Dilemma for the <laughs> trans community. I'm talking about for us. For those of us who are hetero or consider us as hetero. This new term. I, I'm new to the word cis. I guess that. Y'all got to break it down to me, to my LBGTQ plus community. Y'all got to break down all this stuff. I was having a conversation with a friend of mine, non-binary friend of mine, means he does not do math. No, no, no. I mean, it means he doesn't identify with one of the two main genders, like male or female. Even though he loves some women, boy, he get up in a heartbeat, made up and go holler at a woman. She'd be like, okay, uh, hmm, I don't know what to expect. <laughs> but I was watching an interview from the Breakfast Club about the, with the transgenders and Malik Yoba and all this stuff, and I noticed that that interview had more thumbs down, more dislikes than any other interview in Breakfast Club ever that I ever seen. And I was like, man, what is the what is the isn't the skittles? Because that that's not just from the straight community, obviously. And why is everybody uptight? And why is everybody in arms? And I understand everybody's viewpoint about different things. But there's one thing that no one touches on. That if we're talking about equality, if we're talking about everybody feeling the same. If it, I, I'm from around the way. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. I came up a certain kind of way. You know how people like to say, I felt a certain kind of way. I felt a certain kind of way. I felt a certain... How the fuck did you feel? Oh, and... This is not for kids. 18 and over, please. This sip is to give you a chance to get out of here before I get real vulgar. Um, <laughs> it's taboo talk, baby. It's Troy Rollins. So, I realized, I was talking to my friend, and I was like, you know what I realized? No one's asking the questions that they really want to know. You get a heterosexual male who's upstanding in the hetero community. People look up to him. He says he's trans-attracted. And we dance. You meet a woman who says she's dating a transgender man. He used to be a woman, um, biologically, or 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 was assigned. A lot of times they say assigned, meaning that you know at birth, you have a little baby boy. It's like you see a penis. Oh, it's a boy. Have a little girl. See a vagina. It's a girl. Um, have a hermaphrodite. It's like it's a. Uh... Can we talk to you for a minute in the room back here? We can figure this out. And remember that. And what would happen, you have a hermaphrodite, somebody with two two genders, you know, or two genitalia. That's why a lot of people in the LBGTQ community say it has nothing really to do with genitalia. It's about your mental, your psychological, your emotional, how you feel and operate internally. Because the genitalia is something that later in the birthing process is developed. But we can get into that later. You can Google that stuff. Here's the elephant in the room. Everybody wants to know. And they're not asking. If you know somebody that's been, if I know a guy that's been with a transgender woman, and we close, I'm going to ask him, yo, how was the coochie? How was it? Did it feel like the real thing? Did it feel like a God-made coochie? The woman that I said, girl, how did it feel? Did it feel like real dick? Was it what <laughs> that's the question no one's asking everybody wants to know how does it feel does it feel like the real thing and for the people that have had operations you want to ask them how does it feel to you if you had an operation do you still get the same sensation you get from your other genitalia from a dick from a penis from a the i said dick and penis like they were two different things they kind of are i'm a little kid if i'm a little boy like, what's wrong with your penis? Your mom say something and something's wrong. I don't know. If I'm a grown man and my woman says, what's wrong with your penis? I'm like, first off, this ain't a penis. It's a dick. Okay. <laughs> That's the 
elephant in the room. No one's asking what they want to ask. You want to ask the nosy questions about somebody's sex, sex life. You want to say, okay, if you was with, and no one's talking. Yeah, you know, I had some friends I dated. My friend, we were on the live last night. You go to Troy Rawlings Live, you can check it out if it's still up. If not, when you see this, if you're doing this on a replay, you won't see it. But she said, somebody mentioned that um, I dated a guy who was bisexual. But he said, you know, he was mainly dating guys in high school. And another friend of mine was like, so what the fuck does dating mean? Does dating mean they were going out to dinner and movies? Or does dating mean they were sucking and fucking? I need to know the dynamics. <laughs> the trans elephant in the room ask if you meet somebody who's you gotta ask you hopefully you're close enough where you can ask how did it feel everybody wants to know how did it feel what's going on you know why i'm saying that and some people may be like oh that's crash you don't ask people that yes you do because you asked your girlfriend that she hooked up with some dude and y'all was looking at the dude he was dancing at the club pants popping around like he fucking john travolta and the, the dog going staying alive whatever that movie was when he was walking around in the little underwear and doing all the <laughs> pants popping around like a 70s bas NBA basketball player. <laughs> Everybody wants to know how was it? How did it feel? How's it with the, with the person? Now on the other end, for those that are transgender, they're like, look, we don't want to be considered a fetish. We don't like to be uh, us hopping in cars 2 a.m. in the morning and, and you hiding us behind closed doors. We want a real relationship with you. Because like, we're real people. And that's true. We all know. Especially people of different races and ethnicities. How it feels. To be considered something other than human. So if you want full humanity. Have the same conversations you would with anybody else. You want to know how it is to be with a transgender person. For your friend. Or your, your male or female friend is kicking it with somebody and they into a relationship that's where it is they don't want to be considered a fetish it's just like a black woman dating somebody outside the race and they want to know that this person authentically wants to be with them. or man well man we different with the fetishes I, I don't i have yet to hear a guy say man she just want me for my body most guys want that sadly <laughs> she just man she just dating me because she think i got big dick Oh well. <laughs> so the trans elephant in the room you want to know ask treat people like people love y'all man TroyRollingsLive.com. check me out and uh give me your comments let's talk about it taboo talk weekend 2019 november 22nd through the 24th coming up in the baltimore maryland dc and virginia area in the dmv Used to be called the Delmarva Peninsula, but we call it the DMV. Check me out. TroyRawlingsLive.com. Any of my pages on social media, hit me up. DM me, inbox me. We still got some places for uh, vendors and sponsors. And get your weekend package. This is a staycation, vacation, getaway. We need some adulting, especially before the holidays. Peace. Love y'all. Talk to you soon.